or some examples of one light lighting. Um, and this I did uh, months ago. You're going to see, look at my background uh, right now. It's this dark background. Um, and that's what it was back in March. And, and so if I give you any tip, a darker background, you stand out against it better as I do in my current video. But here's the lighting, though. Um, and as simple as it is, it's one light bouncing off the wall in front of me. Uh, and notice it's a big, broad light source because actually uh, the, the light source is the entire size of the wall, right? It's not a small light source, just a bulb since it's bouncing. It's, it's a very big light source that's hitting me. That makes for, generally speaking, uh, good lighting. Um, it, the artistic uh, photographer might play with lighting beyond this, but for general purposes, this is tip one for most people. Big light source, bounce it off the wall in front of you. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. The, sap, the drawing I have has the subject far from the wall. <coughs> Even if you were close right up against the wall, you could still bounce a light off the wall in front of you. So try bouncing a light off the wall in front of you. That gives a big, broad light source. Another choice is bouncing the wall off the ceiling in front of you. In fact, that's what I have right now, two big lights in front of me. Uh, the example here in this picture is one light bouncing off the wall. Again, a pretty good light source. It's a big, broad light source uh, that just lights somebody well, especially older people with wrinkles and sags and stuff like that, this tends to hide uh, uh, some of those uh, uh, shadows a little bit. And here starts to become a problem. The light source right overhead. So I'm bouncing it off the ceiling, but it's right above me, causing more shadows on the face. Uh, for young, good-looking people, this could be a good light, uh, a way of light for most people. And my general advice, don't do this. Try to get to this or this. A light bouncing in, uh, off the wall in front of you or off the ceiling uh, up towards your front, not right above you. And that's what you start to get with right above you. And here is the light source uh, right to my front but pretty close, it ends up being pretty harsh uh, light because relatively speaking, the light source is smaller relative to my size. It's closer, it's just a smaller light source. So it makes for uh, sharper shadows. And here is close and high. Again, it's a smaller light source, higher creates more shadows. And finally, far and direct. Um, it kind of looks a little better. It is uh, sharper shadows. Again, as that, that light source gets further away, it uh, it's relatively smaller compared to me, makes sharper shadows. Uh, generally, uh, that's a bad thing. And I do mean generally. Again, some people, this will look great on... Um, for the most part, I would suggest not doing that. This, by the way, is the light I used. It's a Westcott light. Um, I think they're about a hundred bucks for two of them. You don't even need this though. If you're going to bounce off the wall, you can go to um, Home Depot or somewhere and get a shop light or two and good bright shop light and bounce them off the wall in front of you. Uh, but it's a light like this uh, that is directional. That's what's most important. If you're going to bounce it off the wall or bounce off the ceiling, you don't want light spilling onto you. You want it coming just from the wall and just from the ceiling. And that's my tip for this month, some ideas on how to uh, get better lighting. I just want to show you the ones at the beginning again, just to say what I think are the better ones. Bouncing the light off the wall in front of you, uh, whether you're close up against the wall or far from the wall, makes for a big light source, generally better for most people. I would suggest to everybody, start with this. And then if you want to play with any fancy stuff, uh, start playing, control your light source, get it to this point first. And that's my tip for this month.